Hello, welcome to Maths with Jay. We're going to see how we can solve this inequality. So it's a quadratic inequality. And today we're going to be looking at how we can do this using the class with calculator. And what we will do is use the calculator on its own, first of all, and then we will see how we can use the QR codes to get some more information. Right, so on the calculator, we start by pressing the menu button. And then if you're familiar with it, you could go straight on and press the letter B. But if not, you can just work your way through the menu until you get to the thing that obviously looks like an inequality. So here we've got X, Y greater than zero. So we press equals or B as well, if you'd rather do that. And then this is asking us for the degree of the polynomial. So what that is saying is what is the biggest power of x? So here we've got a quadratic, the biggest power of x is 2, so we're going to select 2. If you'd had a, um, a cubic, if the biggest power of x was a 3, then you would have se selected 3 and so on. And then we look at the sort of inequality we've got. So we've got 0 on the right hand side and we've got a greater than symbol, so that's telling us we want number 1. And then all we need to do is key in the relevant numbers. So we've got a 3 multiplying the x squared, so we key in 3 and equals. And then the next one is 5 equals. And then we've got minus 2, so I would use the little negative there, and 2 and equals. And that's input the inequality. And then all you need to do is to press equals and that will give you the answer. Now, the way we would normally want to write the answer is we would write down x on the left hand side. So x is less than minus 2 is good. And then the other one is written a third is less than x. So what we would do is we would just switch that around. If a third is less than x, then that's telling us that x is greater than a third. So that's telling us that that inequality that we've started off with will be true so long as x is either less than negative 2 or x is greater than a third. Right, now let's have a look at what we can do if we can use the QR code. So we would press Shift and QR. And then what you'll do is get your mobile or your tablet to input that QR code. And that will take you to a link. So if you open that link, that will take you to Casio's uh, website. So that will be was.casio.com. And then you ought to see the same sort of thing that you've just seen on the screen of the calculator. The x is less than minus 2 and, and a third is less than x. But additionally, you'll get a little graph. And so you can see that the range of your solutions is shown of the, on the curve. The curve will be in red where we've got the solution. So that's where x is less than minus 2 and x is greater than a third. And so you can see what they've actually done there is they've done a sketch of the graph y equals 3x squared plus 5x minus 2 and shown where it cuts the, uh, the x-axis. So if you were to sketch that graph, it would look something like this. And they're showing that the part of the graph that we're interested in is the red part, where the, uh, so this is the graph of y equals 3x squared plus 5x minus 2. And where the graph is above the x-axis, that's the part that we're interested in because we want to know where 3x squared plus 5x minus 2 is greater than 0.